This is a book of uh, 176 photographs taken between 1974 and 1978. And the first few pictures in the book are from the first film I ever shot. I arrived uh, age eight and a half from Vancouver via New Zealand. It was dismal looking and freezing cold. It was quite terrifying, really. This is the same kind of camera that I used when I took all the student photography, whether it's Sheffield or, or London. It was just a, a, a completely manual, very basic camera. And within days, I'd, I'd fallen in love with the subject. I could see, you know, as the image that I'd just taken came up in the developer that it was like a memory was made, you know, concrete was something real that you could keep forever. I don't know, I've always been a bit of a loner type of person, uh, sort of personality. I used to just go around on double-decker buses. I uh, went to Manchester, I went to Sunderland and photographed the shipbuilding. I went to Scarborough and photographed the fishing men in the ports. Uh, yeah, I just, I just went to loads and loads of play, 20 odd destinations um, on this double-decker bus. So you get, you get the bus, you'd have about two or three hours of photography before you had to come home again, because that was, that was all there was time for. I, I just wanted to know what everybody's lives were like, and I was trying to contextualise my own life. I went to a gypsy encampment, for, for example, and I went in and I, I saw this young woman with a child, and I just called out to her and asked if I could come and photograph. I said I was a student, I've been told to practice. And I think they were a bit bored. There were quite a few of them sort of emerged out of caravans to see what was going on. And uh, one of them said, yeah, let her, you know, let her, let's, let's do this. Um, and they all had babies and they were only my age. Um, but it was very interesting just, you know, the way the girls behaved with me, so one minute I was photographing a girl, she looked almost like a Madonna figure um, in front of one of the caravans. And I can, I can see, you know, she was accidentally standing within a, a circle of rope or wire or something. So that was encircling her feet. She's standing there in the chimney above the, um, the caravan was almost a cruciform shape. And, and she was standing there with her eyes closed. And I just knew that was a special picture. You can't complain. When I went to the Royal College of Art after Sheffield, um, in the second year, there was somebody called Bill Brandt, and we were told to go to his house. There was an open door and this voice called through, come in, come in, <laughs> and there was Bill Brandt sitting in a chair, the fire was lit, and it was all very cosy. I took these photographs that I'd taken in Sheffield, then I took him also the, the, the ones I'd taken in Brick Lane, and he looked through these, and he looked at them for a very long time. I can remember just sitting there watching the firelight from the fire sort of flickering on his face. And he turned to me and he said, Ah, oh, Fran, I'll tell you something. Don't think of these as just student work. He said, you look after them. Don't ever lose them. He said, because one day they'll have social significance. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Sell your life piece by piece. All laid out on the ground Hustle this, stealing that When no one is around Gypsy dance, old lady smile The poetry of pain Ice cream and a cheap guitar Life in Brick Lane. We talked about how even in his lifetime that his pictures had 
meaning when, when, when looked back on in time, you know, so he, he made it, you know, that's where he explained about um, working in the now moment, but that now moment, that slice of time, in time, following that momentum idea, they would have a significance. So I, I did, I looked after them. How I used to go about my photography of people was that I would see a, a stage set, you know, I'd see a scene uh, and, and realise that something might well happen within that scene and I'd wait until something did happen within that scene. To go from South Kensington, one minute, into this other world. So it was like being on a film set, I mean it really was. Um, but it was real lives.